Meet Chuck Campbell. He works for NASA. He doesn't give a flying fuck about anyone. Not the homeless. Not the elderly. All he cares about is getting his rockets to land on cartoons. Yes. Let's have a look. Let's see what Chuck's about. Human exploration to me is about taking science in those places so we can learn about it. And learn about CGI and hear Masonic magic stories. I'm sick of stories, Chuck. I'm fucking sick of CGI, yeah? It's about putting people there so we can hear them describe it. My name's Chuck. What helps solidify the lie is when you employ and get a load of nerds together in a room. Dress them up, supply them with some data and some CGI images that come through on a screen, and this is the result. A nerd circle jerk of the highest order as they go into a frenzy over the latest data. But of course, this solidifies the lie, even though these people are just innocent, naive nerds. They're actually part of the lie by solidifying it through their own ignorance. So it works. And I'm working to get big things on the surface of Mars. Fuck you, Chuck. Our ultimate goal for NASA right now is bringing humans to Mars in the 2030s. So Chuck wants to get a giant vacuum cleaner on the surface of Mars. So what's the appeal here? So everyone's going to go visit this giant vacuum cleaner? Because what is there to do in Mars, Chuck? There's no forests. There's no coastal walks. There's no shopping malls. What, what, what are you going to do there? Just hoover up. It's a fucking joke. To put something this big on the surface of Mars so that we can put people there. And this is a really tough problem. Who the fuck wants to go to Mars? Travel for a year just to use your fucking hoover. Forget that. Just go to the Sahara Desert for a week. I never understood the appeal of Mars. Ever. Even as a kid. Especially now I know what I know. I mean, come on, people. Wake up. Just go to the Sahara Desert. Fuck. Problem. But the idea with supersonic retropropulsion is instead of lighting those rockets... Chuck, give us a demonstration of a rocket working in a vacuum. I don't care if it's supersonic, whatever. Give us a demonstration of a rocket working in a vacuum so we can see propulsion work in a vacuum. Please, Chuck. ...to the ground. You'd light them at a higher speeds, above the speed of sound. And that gives you enough time when you're firing... No disrespect, Chuck. It's just all fucking waffle, mate, and CGI. ...rockets to slow the vehicle down and then touch down safely. I think the best part about it for me is the fact that it's not been done before. You do oh, Chuck, fuck off, mate. We've had fucking thousands of fucking CGI images. M hundreds of Masonic stories. This guy knows. He's just a fucking egotistical clown. Do things in science because you want to understand... I'm sorry, why Chuck. You producing stories and getting rockets to land on cartoons isn't science. I know this might be a bit of a, a shaker for you, but it's not. It's fucking fairy tales, mate. We're here. When I was eight years old, we visited Johnson Space Center. And here I was an eight-year-old walking around and seeing these big rocket engines. You saw these big props in a warehouse and you fell for the stories and the props. And you've been using up loads of blue roll over your Space Weekly magazine ever since. You fell for it, Chuck. They were many times taller than I was and it's about being able to see that become real. Yeah, you've got to have a good imagination, ain't you, Chuck? Fuck you, NASA. Biggest pantomime company on Earth. And the fucking... Duh. When I see you work, it's comedy gold. But when I see stuff like that, man, that annoys me. Fuck yous.